Hi, I'm Joni Sutter, the Executive Director for Nutmeg TV, alongside Pam Wilson, who is a board member for Nutmeg TV's Board of Directors. And we're here to spend a little time with you today, and we're here to talk about fruit. And we're going to talk about grapefruits and oranges. And specifically, Nutmeg TV is having a fundraiser. And when we thought about a fundraiser, Pam, we thought, let's do something that can be a win-win situation. Absolutely. So yeah. not only will you be donating to Nonprofit Nutmeg TV to help us achieve our mission, which we'll talk about in a little bit, but you're also going to benefit because you're going to be uh, getting some beautiful fruit. Delicious. For Delicious your friends fruit. and your family. Pam, where this fruit is from the Indian River yes. Citrus District. Correct. Correct. And um, I'd like to tell you a little bit about it, but even better than that, I'd like to show you about it. So how about if we just roll this tape for them? Okay. Let's visit the citrus groves in the heart of Florida's Indian River Citrus District, where River Sweet Citrus originates. Citrus fruit. It comes in many different sizes, as well as many different varieties. There are many characteristics that are unique to citrus products. Citrus fruit requires a very delicate balance of moisture. This requirement is fulfilled by the temperate climate and particular soil characteristics found on Florida's east coast. Citrus fruit cannot be harvested if there is any moisture present on the outside of the fruit. Citrus fruit cannot ripen once it's separated from the tree. Citrus can only ripen naturally. And one other thing common to citrus is that the citrus fruit from the Indian River District is the very best citrus product that the world has to offer. The Indian River region runs from Cape Canaveral to West Palm Beach along Florida's eastern coast. Some of the Indian River's best groves are located near Vero Beach. River Sweet takes extreme care in every step of the process from the time the fruit is picked to the time of delivery. This ensures that only special fruit is picked, processed, packed and shipped properly. We have a little treat for our viewers. We're going to introduce you to Alex, who is from River Sweet. Wonderful. And he's going to talk to us a little bit about the fruit mm -hmm. that we can expect uh, to be receiving from Florida. Hi, Hi, Alex. Hi, how are you doing today? Hi, Alex. Thank you for being with us. Pam and I have a couple questions for you. Sure, my pleasure. All right. Uh, can you tell us what makes the Indian River District so renowned? It's the, uh, the climate. The, uh, the Indian River Citrus District, which runs from, say, Cape Canaveral to West Palm Beach along the east coast of Florida, it's, it's named for the Indian River that runs through the, the same area. It, uh, it receives uh, weather that is ideal for growing citrus. Any fruit that is grown in the Indian River District is referred to as Indian River fruit. Uh, fruit that is grown elsewhere in Florida is simply referred to as interior fruit. Oh, I didn't Oh, know. yeah, I didn't either. And that kind of leads into the question I have for you, Alex. Uh, what's the difference between your fruit and the fruit that we would buy at a grocery store? Well, you're going to find the fruit is much, much fresher. The, uh, the fruit uh, that you receive from us will be shipped directly from Packing House in, uh, in, in Vero Beach, Florida, to, to uh, your location. The, uh, the truck should take no more than uh, 48 to, to 72 hours to arrive from our location to yours. Uh, if you buy fruit in the supermarkets, many times it has gone through produce uh, 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 chains where the fruit could be uh, up to two weeks old. If you uh, walk through the grocery store and you see grapefruit and does not have that brilliant gloss on it, then you can uh, generally conclude that that fruit was in cold storage at some point in time. When you open up a box of river sweet fruit, you're going to see a brilliant shine on the fruit because it was just waxed a couple of days before. Perfect. And there's no cold storage that it goes through, is that correct? Absolutely no cold storage whatsoever. However, the trucks that the fruit comes to us on are refrigerated, and we're going to see that in a little bit. Yes, yeah, so the truck the truck naturally will be refrigerated. We, uh, we, we need to uh, not only protect the, uh, the fruit from the warm weather in Florida, but we also need to protect it from the cold weather up 
up in uh, in your neck of the woods. So the, the truck is temperature controlled. It, uh, the fruit is maintained at 42 degrees throughout the, the entire uh, trip. Wonderful. Alex, the process for picking the fruit and preparing the fruit for shipping, can you give us um, a, a little bit of an idea of how that happens? In order to pick fruit, we have to go out and first test the fruit. We test the fruit to be sure that it makes uh, certain standards for maturity. We, we juice the fruit. Uh, maturity standards include the amount of juice that the fruit produces, the acid content in the, uh, in the fruit, and the sugar content. So before we pick a grove, we make abs absolutely certain that all three of those uh, criterion are met. Then when we go out to pick the fruit, we have to uh, make sure that the fruit is dry. So we can't go out and pick it while there's still uh, morning dew on the fruit. The, if the fruit is in a turgid state, when a uh, fruit picker goes to pick the fruit, he can actually damage the fruit, and you'll see his fingerprints on, on the fruit a day or two later. Uh, so we make sure that the, the fruit is dry and that the skin is... is, uh, is uh, uh, tough, and then uh, uh, the fruit is picked, it's brought in uh, to the packing house, and it goes through the machinery. The machinery will wash the fruit, and it will also wax the fruit. It will run it by a grading table where a series of graders will uh, pick any fruit that does not make U.S. number one uh, grade out of the fruit, and uh, it will also go by a USDA federal inspector that will be inspecting the fruit for a variety of, uh, of uh, criteria. Very impressive. Thank yeah. you for that. Um, I'd like to ask you, Alex, uh, what's the best way that we can store our fruit? You know, the ideal uh, way to store citrus fruit at, at your end is to either put it in the refrigerator or if you have a uh, cool garage, you might be able to, uh, to store it there as well. Perfect. Perfect. Um, and I do have one other question to ask you. Um, weather seems to play an important part in uh, growing fruit and whatever and how you produce it. So what can we expect this year from the weather you've had there in Florida? What can we expect from your crops this year? We have had an excellent growing season this year. We've had plenty of rain, so we don't have to worry about any uh, type of drought situation or anything like that. I think everybody's going to be very pleased with the uh, quality of the product that they receive from us this year. Wonderful. Well, Alex, that uh, is your reputation, certainly. <laughs> um, and um, we are looking forward to being able to offer that to people up here in Connecticut. And we want to thank you so much for your time. And we'll talk to you again. It has been my pleasure. Well, Joni, that was really interesting, and it's really interesting what they do with the fruit that they juice that we don't even see. I mean, you know, so those things never even make it to the box. No. No, not at all. So I thought that was rather interesting. It was, and it was great that Alex took the time with us yes. because where do you get a chance to talk to the grower and oh, ask all those never, questions? Never, never. But Pam, there's a reason why we're having this fundraiser. Yes. And Nutmeg TV, as you know, is an award-winning community access center that's here for you. And we offer free studios. Absolutely. We yeah. offer free field equipment. And we offer some really great programming and some award-winning programming to we our viewers. Do, yes. But technology is changing so rapidly. Mm -hmm. And with that changing technology, we have to be upgrading continually. Yes. And the cameras need to be upgraded, and the lighting needs to be upgraded. And this is, these are things that are not inexpensive to no, do. No, not by a long shot. Anytime we make a change at Nutmeg, it requires a lot of thoughtful yes. uh, care, because as you may or may not know, only 68 cents a month mm -hmm. comes to Nutmeg TV. Only 68 yes, cents a, a month lot. from not the subscriber. And so it's up to our board of directors, which yes. Pam is mm -hmm. a part of, and myself to be fiscally responsible with our money because it's very important that three quarters of it or more comes to our client users or the people who are viewing us. Yes, yes. So that's why we're doing this fundraiser. And when we thought of fundraisers to do, as I said before, we thought we need that win-win. We need to have that uh, gift from 
the, the donor, yeah. but we want to give something back. Mm -hmm. And so fruit came up for us. And we took a look at a lot of different yes, companies. Yes, we did. We absolutely did. Yeah. And when we decided to partner with River Suite, we did so for a reason. And we did so because of the quality. And I'm going to just show you. We, we cut this orange so you can see just how beautiful this fruit really uh, is. Yes, and delicious. And delicious. But Pam, let's talk about fruit a little bit. And sure. some of the different things, because somebody might say, well, what am I going to do with a whole box of fruit? Oh, there's so many things you can do with it. Let's say you have a lot of people to buy for. And I know in my family, I've got a lot of people that you, you just don't know what to get them. And for instance, my dad, he's 91 years old. I mean, he has everything he needs, but fruit he loves okay. and you can take this fruit you can make them into smaller baskets you can add some wine you can add some candy some of your own homemade things even i mean it's just beautiful so you so if you do buy a big box which is very economical then you can just split it up into these smaller baskets and it's a great gift for somebody really right great gift. it is and we we did a couple examples so you could see here we just took and and Pam, you're right. There are people that, what are you going to buy for them? This mm -hmm. is the gift that keeps on giving. This is a gift that every time they take a piece of fruit, yeah, they say, oh, Pam yeah. got me that. Or, you know, she shared that with me. So you take some of the fruit, you save it for yourself and your ah, family. Oh, yes, I do. And then others, you, you know, you just get a little basket. Here we put together some, this is a bre breakfast basket where we put together some Stella Doros and we have some jam in here mm -hmm. and we have the fruit and we have some syrup and some teas and things like that. And that's, just wrap it up yeah. and, and put a bow on it and it's good. And, and the one that Pam... Wine. Okay, you put wine with that one? Yep, absolutely. All right, so you could put wine, a magazine on a wines, maybe some cheese and crackers yeah. and um, some citrus fruit. And it really makes a nice gift. But it absolutely does, yes. Affordability is oh, important too. Very affordable, yes. Have you seen the price of fruit? Oh my goodness, yes I have. I was shopping just the other day buying some fruit and it's just unbelievable. And what you're buying isn't even as good as what you're going to get no. in this basket because as Alex told us, you know, that stuff sits in the grocery store for a while. Even before it gets to them, it's sitting in a refrigerated truck for maybe a couple of weeks or more. So you're talking about fresh fruit that you're getting. When you cut that open, the juice, and it's just delicious. And it, there's nothing like fresh fruit, nothing like it. Nothing like it. Mm. And I think that when we, and this is a true story, we have someone here at Nutmeg that um, has been ill and we wanted to do something for yeah. her. And we decided to send a fruit basket. We couldn't afford to do it. We yes, couldn't afford very, to send yes. the fruit basket because it was just out of, yes, out of, out of price yeah. range. So yeah. this fruit is affordable. Why? Because of the bulk. Yep. The bulk shipment makes it affordable. What are some of the other things that we oh, can do well, with Oh, well, you know, fruit? just getting back to the gift giving for a moment, you know, I did one one time and we did it as a um, grab bag gift. And we right. had to bring a small grab bag and I paired some fruit with a few other things and people were fighting over that particular gift. So really and truly, it is a gift that's unique. It really is. I love to get it and I love to give it. Uh, but some of the other things that you can do is recipes. Oh my goodness. You can make so many things, especially with fresh fruit. The juices are just phenomenal, and the recipes just taste divine. And we took the liberty of yes. get, sharing with you some of our favorites. Pam and I had some yep. favorites. I'll share one of mine, and then she can share one of hers. Mine was this grapefruit avocado salad, and I made this the other day. You take the red ruby grapefruit, and you just slice it on the segments, and you line it up on your plate, and then you take it, an equal slice of avocado, and you put it between there, and it's just poured over with a honey mustard vinaigrette mm, delicious it is and it's got a nice protein in there with the avocado uh some good fats in there with the avocado and the citrus is just lovely and i know you so had healthy. one to share yeah well i have quite a few here but um this arugula salad with the citrus vinaigrette oh delicious it really really is and you can just do you can even make up your own you know use your imagination cakes Mm -hmm. You know, cookies, oh my goodness, orange cookies with fresh orange juice, divine, divine. Okay. Yes, yeah. When they talk about candied, um, the candied peel, 
um, mm -hmm. on citrus, yes. the, the candied citrus yeah. peel. I've never tried that before, uh, but it's supposed to be a sweet finish to a, a nice meal. And I know that uh, there are some, especially in the Italian tradition, who will take the peel and put it on the stove yes. on a very low temperature, you know, the low, 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 and it just uh, releases the uh, aromatic oils that are in the yes. skin of the fruit. Mm -hmm. And it just makes the house oh, smell so nice. Oh, beautiful. And that's beautiful. a real holiday thing that yes, you like to do. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about you, but I can't remember the last time I had a glass of fresh squeezed orange oh, juice because yeah. it's so darn expensive that you yeah. can't do it. Mm. But with this, maybe on a, a holiday, yep. or you could say to the family, everybody's getting fresh squeezed juice this morning, you know, and oh, what a treat that yeah, would that be. Yeah, that would be fun. That would be a lot of fun. You know, my dad, um, he had a grapefruit tree. He lived in Florida. You know, he does the six month thing. And he was in Florida and he had this beautiful grapefruit tree outside of his apartment. And I would visit him and I'd go out there and pluck that off the tree. Oh my goodness, it was so delicious. And then I would come home and buy one in the grocery store. Honestly, no comparison. <laughs> Absolutely no comparison. And it was more bitter, mm -hmm. you know, where it tended to be a little bit more sweet. Mm -hmm. off of the tree. So what you're buying is essentially picked off the tree. It's picked off for you, put in a box, and it's right to your house. And at the same Beautiful. time, you have that feel good because you yes. supported Nutmeg TV and oh, you did absolutely. something for your community. And yes. you know, Nutmeg Television and Access Television is the last electronic soapbox. I mean, nowhere yeah. can you state your views and opinions uh, without being monitored by uh, either advertisers yes. or others who uh, won't let you have that that uh, freedom of speech on, on the media. Yes. So mm -hmm. it's very, very valuable to us in this country to, uh, to have that. We've learned a lot about fruit. Yes, we have. We have a great product to offer you, and at the same time, you're going to be having a feel-good donation with Nutmeg TV, which is going to help us oh, to tremendous. improve our mission and providing this wonderful facility for people. But Pam, can you tell us the best way, or the easiest way, I should yeah, say? There's, how, there's, how do we yeah, order the there's fruit? There's a few ways that you can order. You can call us at Nutmeg TV. Um, and the number's on your screen. Mm -hmm. Call us anytime. You can call us during the day. Call us at night if we're not here. You can leave us a message. I believe you hit eight. Just number yep. eight. It'll go right in, leave yep. a message. Um, you can email us if you'd like. Or you can just drop by the studios. We're happy to see you, and we're happy to take your order. Any way you'd like, we'll take your orders. Okay, so the email is nutmegtv at nutmegtv.org. And to make it easy uh, for you, we accept cash, yeah. we'll accept a check, we'll accept any major credit card, mm -hmm. and you can also pay via PayPal, which oh, makes it perfect. really, a lot of people like to do that, uh, yeah. pay via PayPal. And we'll give you a receipt if you need that for tax purposes. Yep and you'll be s helping to support Nutmeg TV. Greatly. All right, yep. so now I've got my order in. Mm -hmm. How do I get my fruit and when well, do I get my fruit? Well, that's the fun part. You get to come down to the studio. You get to see our studio because everything is going to be right here where we're standing, where you see us now. All the fruit will be here, so you just have to come down to pick it up. But you don't have to pick it up literally. We've got someone to pick it for you, bring it to your car. Yep. So you don't have to do anything except come here and get your fruit. It's it's wonderful. So it's very easy. Easy to order, easy to get. And easy yep. to pick up. Uh, what Alex told us is the first two weeks of December is when the fruit is going to be here. So what's going to happen is we're going to take your name and number and your order. When he says the fruit is here, it's being picked, it's going on the truck this day, because remember, it's four days. Yes. We're going to call you, and we're going to say the fruit is going to be ready. Here is the pickup day. The pickup day will be from the morning right through to after work, so you have plenty of time. If you have to go home, I think, you know, we'll probably do till 8 and 9. Oh, yeah, easily, yeah. You come down here. You know what you bought. We know what you bought in case you forgot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you simply um, pull up. You can come in the studio. You're going to yeah. meet Olive the Orange. She's going to be here. Mm -hmm. She can sign autographs, meet you, you can bring the kids if you'd like. And like Pam said, the yes. studio that we're in right now, which is free for any resident to use, you're right. going to get to see this beautiful studio. Yes. And then we'll put the fruit in your car and you'll be on your way and off to enjoy with your friends and Perfect. family. Perfect. Pam, I want to thank you so oh, much for being yes, here today. Oh, yes, this was fun. This it was, was fun. fun. We learned yeah. a lot about citrus, and we yeah. learned. I did not know about all the processing yeah. that goes on with this that Alex told us about. And you've seen the video. You've seen where the fruit comes from. And um, we're looking forward to uh, yeah. 
enjoying this along with you. Yes. And so thank you so much for thank spending you. some time with Pam and I. And until next time, bye-bye. Bye-bye.